Praise the Lord. Welcome to a brief Bible reflections. We thank God for his love and grace upon our lives. Colossians chapter 2 verse 6 and 7 the Bible says, So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you are taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. Praise the Lord. A third thing that we get from this portion of scripture as we continue encouraging one another to continue, you know, just as Paul is putting it, continue living our lives in him. We must be rooted, we must be built up on this firm and sure foundation, Jesus Christ. Our faith now needs to be strengthened. So he says, strengthened in the faith as you are taught. When we talk about what we were taught, we can only mention the word of God, the message of the cross. For our faith to be strengthened, we need to stick to what we were taught. And remember in verse number six, he says, continue to live your lives in him. So what we were taught is what gives us the grace to continue living our lives in him. So he talks about our faith being strengthened. Other versions will say our faith to be established. Where we talk about being established is like having this idea of making firm, reliable, and being in a secure space. We know that we are surrounded by many things that can move our faith, things that can shake our faith. But when we are rooted, built up in him, and we remain on what we were taught, our faith will be firm. We shall have this inspiration of confidence amidst challenges. We'll be able to move on, having the confidence that comes by letting God be God in our lives, by letting God lead our lives in all aspects. And so our faith to be strengthened, we must feed on the word of God. We must make the word of God our all in all. Nothing else can strengthen your faith apart from word of God. Because the word speaks to all spheres of your experiences, all areas that you may be going through, and the word of God has a solution in everything. So Paul talks about our faith being strengthened and he emphasizes on as you were taught. So there's something that you are taught for your faith to continue, for your faith to flow, for your faith to be firmly established. We need to stick to what we were taught. And what we were taught is the word of God. In this case, we're asking ourselves then, why do we find ourselves um, moving from the path? It is because our faith is not strengthened. Again, it is because we are not rooted. It is because we are not built up in him. In all this, we find that each one of us has a personal commitment to our faith. And no wonder Paul tells the Philippians to work out their faith with fear and trembling. We have a responsibility to work out our faith in Christ Jesus. And this is about what we said from the beginning, that this is about the grace that has been poured upon our lives and the faith that we have received in Christ Jesus. With this, we'll be able to move on. We'll be able to remain firm. We'll be able to have this kind of confidence amidst all kinds of challenges. Because God together with us inspires this confidence. God together with us gives us the courage and even the joy to continue day by day. For your faith to be strengthened, be rooted, be built up in Christ. And the third aspect of being strengthened will be automatic because it is only Christ who can strengthen our faith. And again, what we were taught matters a lot. We were taught of the beauty of the cross, the goodness of knowing Christ, 
this is what we should stick to and this is what we should follow all through. May your faith be strengthened, firmly established in the Lord, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.